Hey everyone, welcome back. And it finally happened. The Cyclops has been obtained. So, I believe it is now time to begin migration. So, I think it's necessary to disassemble everything in here that we are going to be taking on the Cyclops such as the modification station, the fabricator, um, whatever this thing is, some kind of um, thing, this really cool radio, um, and of course we're going to have to empty out our lockers here in a little bit, but we'll do that in a second. Let's try to get as much of the easy stuff as we can out. Storage. For some reason I have a lot of bleach. Um, no need to be alarmed by the number of bleach that I'm storing. It is all perfectly safe, I guarantee you. So one thing that I'm definitely going to need to do, though, is set up a power cell charger. But I don't know if I have unlocked or not. That's probably going to be one of the most important things I'll have is a way to charge my power cells. So let's see. cell charger ruby oh we can build this we can actually build this okay we can legitimately build this we have a wiring kit which is made of silver okay so we're gonna have to do we're gonna need to reconstruct the fabricator unfortunately but you know the fabricators not too expensive when it comes to resources so we're gonna open this up oh we can't store anything in here We're going to go to the other side, maybe, and we're going to give it, um, let's give it the ion cubes, and then we're going to go over here, and we're going to put some, going to sort of take out and put some new stuff in. I don't think it was gold that it needed. No, it didn't need gold. All right. Fabricator. So let's see what the resources we need. We need a wiring kit, two more gold, and a computer chip. Um, the modification station needs a computer chip, and the radio. Okay, so the wiring kit is for the battery charger. So. Long story short, we're going to need silver. So let's go do that real fast before we start getting started on uh, transferring things to the Cyclops. Well, actually, what we can do is we can actually kind of split the task up into multiple parts here. So... Really? You don't see anything else besides just these? Seriously? No shale. Okay, what about a uh, data box, I guess? Maybe it'll pick up something while that's scanning. But in the meantime, look at her, she's so beautiful. Let's, uh, let's start migrating some stuff to the Cyclops. So first, thing, first things first, we're going to need to build a way to charge our batteries. We're going to need a way to talk to the outside world, so we're going to need to bring our radio with us eventually. And titanium and lead will also be needed, so probably should have thought about that one. Um... 
Yeah, we're going to need to figure a way around all that. All right. Let's go bring the seam off. But first, I think that we need to give our Cyclops some justice. So let's make it a dark blue with a nice kind of greenish stripe there. That second stripe is actually going to be more of a there. And we're going to name it, um, no, not that. I don't even know if I spelled that right because I'm dyslexic and terrible at spelling things. Or maybe I'm just dumb. Like a middle of between the stuff. Um, we'll just name it, uh, totally not grabbing my phone over here to, uh, look up how to spell Odyssey, but I should know how to spell it because it's, one of my favorite movies, the 2001 A Space Odyssey. But. Alright, so. Minus my complete idiocy. We now have the Odyssey. Alright, let's go take a look at it and see how that turned out. Ugh. <sighs> I'm better at math and science and weird computer stuff than I am at, um, I need to change the name color, but that is a nice looking Cyclops. Um, I'm better at like computer stuff than I am at, um, spelling language stuff because computers and I get along and English and I do not. So, oh sweet, the Cyclops efficiency module is really going to come in handy. I totally forgot I had that. And we're going to grow the deep shrimp spore. So. That's going to be heckin' wicked. Alright. This is one of the coolest things that the Cyclops is this. Oh, I love this so much. Oh. That is so unbelievably cool. That's really cool. I really like the fact that you can do that. All right. Let's go install our... Oh, this isn't the way you can install it. Let's go and install our Cyclops efficiency module to preserve our um, power cores. This, this thing is a lot bigger than it, than you would think it would be from the uh, outside. So we're going to store food stuff and chemicals in here. Let's just put some lithium and diamonds and all the fun stuff in here. The Kind of the more valuable stuff. Not gold. Gold and silver will go in here. Um, I got a lot of batteries. I'm going to do something about that. And we'll put miscellaneous in here. All right, and yeah, we'll put the acid measurement there too. All right. So let's grab. Um, some titanium, some gold, some copper, some resources in general. All right, and let's do some basic construction. So first things first, um, oh, I need to go to, um, looks like there's a place that we have to travel to real fast. So that's on the agenda by the looks of it. All right, the fabricator, we're going to need it in one of those pretty soon. We're going to put the radio over here. We're going to put... Um, let's see, the modification station will go right there. Um, 
We need fiber mesh, apparently, and a computer chip. So, computer chips are made of... Oops, not that. Um, let's see, what's a computer chip made of? Oh, shush. A computer chip is made of cable coral. Okay, oh, so we're going to need basically copper and table coral. So, we're going to need a lot of computer chips, actually. So, we're going to probably start with the fabricator, though. And, um,. Get ourselves a second fabricator. Which I don't actually think that we need, but still may as well. I mean, why not? It's a pretty easy thing to build. Here we go, right there. Okay. And... We also need copper, but that's not really an easy resource to find anymore. So what we're going to do is we're going to tell our handy dandy scanner room to search for something useful. See, that's what I was looking for, a standstone chunk. So we're going to have it search for limestone chunks. And it's going to point out all the fun stuff. We're going to wait until day to hunt for that. Because we had some stuff we got to do real fast. Where is the... Uh, there is a back entrance, right? Or is it only a front entrance? I could have sworn there were two entrances. But I guess not. No, there has to be two. No, maybe I'm just going crazy. Huh. It's usually what it is. I think you're crazy. I think you're crazy. Just like me. Okay, so we have a lot of limestone too. But we need the bleach so we can get some water. And we're gonna actually gonna be able to grow our own food pretty soon. Thanks to uh, our next quest, we're going to go to the solid land, get some grow bays and potatoes, and we'll be set. I probably didn't need to drink all of those at once, but it was a sacrifice that I was willing to make. Alright, well... We're going to go now and, um, I don't really actually think I need the sea moth for that, but I just kind of wanted to do that again, because why not? All right. We've got a lot of fun stuff to find. Ooh, perfect. This whole scan room thing is really doing me a favor. Like, it has probably made the whole process of hunting down copper a lot easier. Even though we keep getting titanium, which is okay. It's okay. Titanium is useful, sometimes. But we need copper right now. Because copper is currently one of the most used resources. That's also, um, you know, not really around. You've got to be kidding me. You know, I'm just going to... Okay. Copper is a lot more valuable to me than uh, titanium, so... Alright, we're going to store all the titanium and other stuff. And keep looking. So, we want to walk out with quite a bit of copper. 
Alright, I should probably also kill something and eat it. Get back here. Alright. Um... Wow, I really missed out on a lot of, uh... I didn't realize there were, th there were like this many in the area. Wow. This whole scanner room thing is totally underrated. Well, I mean, it's probably not. Probably only to me, because... Um, I never... Mistakes have been made. Uh-oh. Alright, we're gonna go in the life pod real fast, and uh, get some more health, because we need health. So that's another thing I'm gonna need, is uh, synthetic fibers, so we're gonna go harvest that real fast, actually. I'll buzz off. I should probably get my sea moth out from there, but oh well. I'm gonna turn up voices real fast. Options. I thought I did this, but I guess not. There. Okay. Um. So that's an old sample already, but oh well. Oh, wrong button. So, I know I have another sample somewhere. I actually think it's still in the, uh... I'm pretty sure it's actually up there. So we're gonna go grab it real fast. And then we're gonna... I think we got, like, enough copper to justify... Um, switching this over to... Uh, sandstone chunks for temporary reasons. Alright. So, what was I doing again? Alright. I have to go over here and grab the other. Uh, that's a rotten sample, so I don't know if that'll work. But it does. Perfect. Uh. Alright, we got some harvesting to do. This is probably not the best way to find them, but it'll do. Because, I mean... Silver is... I don't know how I have more, like so much more gold than silver, because I don't really remember using a lot of silver, but I know I use a lot of gold. And yet gold is still like readily available. So I don't really know how. But I, what I really need is silver. Like, I don't really need gold, just mostly silver, because silver is... Used for advanced wiring kits, which we need more of. So much more of. This is a lot better way to find resources. Like, just in general. This is, like, super cool. And, of course, my inventory's full. Where is my moth? There is the moth. The moth has been located. I'm not going to go back for it because it's just gold. It's just gold. It doesn't matter. It's only a very, very valuable resource. Yeah, I'm going to go back for it. I don't even know where it is, though. I think it's down here. Hmm. Maybe it's down here. Oh, I'll well, never know. 
but I believe I've collected enough silver ore to justify turning the scanner off and I just got hit by my own sea moth. Yeah, we have plenty of silver ore. So we're going to go back to, uh, we're going to go dock this boy, this bad boy. And, uh, build some more stuff. So first things first, we have our medical kit fabricator, which takes computer chip and titanium, which computer chips are made of table coral and gold and copper and wiring kit. So yeah, we just need coppering wire. So not wiring kit, but copper wire. We are going to need a advanced wiring kit as well. So let's make the preparations for that. Oh, we're also going to need another uh, computer chip apparently. So we need a lot more table coral. Coral. And another thing of copper wire apparently too. Okay, medical kit fabricator. Needs more titanium. Um, let's see. Where did I put my titanium at? Well, I know I have a lot in the sea moth, so... Am I actually slowly running low on titanium? I guess I am. Huh, interesting. Unexpected. But acceptable and understandable perfect this is gonna be fantastic I can finally heal myself now all right um, now we just got to build one of these things I don't think we have oh, we don't have enough rubies actually let's go check yeah but I know where to get some, so it's fine. Okay, well. I'm gonna go check on the lockers and turn off the scanner room. One final time, then we're gonna depart. That's a lot of silicon rubber. Okay, do I absolutely need any? Oh, I need a power cell for sure. Um, no, I think I'm good. I don't think I need the radiation helmet anymore. I think I just mostly need the rebreather. So, If not, I'm sure I can quickly cobble together a radiation helmet in uh, a short amount of time. So, not really too worried about that. Let's store all of our miscellaneous. Um, let's put power sources in here. Uh, valuable materials. Shiny ones, to be exact. Interesting. Very interesting. I do not know what exactly I need to do in order to make sure I have more health. Alright, well, anyways. Oh, I didn't turn the scanner room off. Oh, no. <sighs> okay. I'm actually going to take those modules with me. Because we're going to end up needing them eventually. And that is a guarantee. Alright. We're moving on. The only time we will return is when we need the power cells recharged. And slash or when, um, when I need to upgrade the prawn suit. So... 
Okay. That's got to be white. There we go. All right. Shall we? Ooh, it's time. All right. Oh, shush. Oh, I've missed that noise so much. The sound and coos the Cyclops make as it makes as it goes is wonderful. Full speed ahead. Ah, uh, this is this is the way to travel. This is the way to travel. I mean, we are like a hundred percent safe right now. I need a compass is what I actually need. Because I can actually find the, uh, the secret, um, life pod that's crashed over there that has the Corvette. Um, minifigure, as well as the Markiplier statue, so. Oh, well, reef packs. Whoa. That's really cool down there. Alright, we're gonna slowly submerge here in a little bit. Maybe, maybe not. Is it not shift to descend? I said it was like shift to descend. Is it not? Alt? Nope. Tab? Hit something. Okay, it's C, apparently. C for count on me going down. That is the uh, get the break out of the way, you freaking fricks. Okay, this is when it gets really cool, when you hit areas like this, where you just look down, and there's nothing. It's even cooler when you have the Cyclops radar, and you just see the red tracks go all the way down, with nothing following it. It is one of the coolest, yet spookiest things I think I've ever seen in a game. Because it's not like you're being chased by some, you know, maniac who wants you dead. It's, it's the fear of the unknown, and it is pure in that notion and regard so last time we were in this area we were actually searching for the cyclops engine and we got totally bamboozled and pranked by a ghost leviathan so just in case if you forgot All right, we need fish, apparently. I don't even know if fish even live up here. Because, I mean, like, it's, it's, this isn't technically a biome. This is just, like, floaty, floaty bits. There's a PDA. The Rendezvous voice log. Great. I wish you could run with the flashlight, that'd be a lot better. Okay, so apparently I'm gonna starve. So... Uh, shoot, I should really do something about that, like, right now. Why 
is it red? Okay. We're going to do a sneaky, risky move down here and go for a... Uh... Come on. Hey, I'm not playing games here, buddy. What's the dumbest thing you've ever done? Oh, I don't know. Probably this. This is the kind of thing where you look down and you see like a leviathan just watching you and like waiting for you to get lower. Not realizing that you're a hundred meters down. All for a quick snack. God, that is so spooky. But it's so awesome. All right, well, we got our fluid intake covered with our bleach in there. And now that we know about our calorie intake, that's available through uh, swimming down and getting fish. I think we're good to go. We can live off the land. Or water, I guess. I mean... <sighs> All right, well, we've got a lot of uh, exploring to do here. I wish it was daytime so I have to use a night light. Okay, this island is a lot bigger than I thought it was. I think there's a three crashed um, areas. There's like one up there and then there's a couple others and one of them has the farming beds and potatoes that I need. So that is the entire purpose for why we are here. That's kind of cool. It's not screenshot material. That kind of is. But I don't think that took. Okay, that took. Now I'm a little worried that the audio is going to get all messed up because of that. Just because of how uh, flimsy the Windows game recorder gets when it needs to file stream bytes along the same path as the disk drive. And it creates this really stupid thing where the audio loops. I'm probably 100% wrong on that, but... It only happens after I take a screenshot. I have, like it ha it's only happened like maybe three times, but it happens enough to the point where I notice it. So if you're watching a video and the game audio just disappears, that is because of the Windows game recorder not doing its job. But what I can say is that the Windows game recorder is probably the Oh yeah. The uh, the coolest thing Windows 10 has on it, because, I mean, it, it can record whatever you need it to on the Windows 10 desktop and not need anything else, and it does a pretty good job, and according to um, benchmark tests, it actually runs better than the NVIDIA um, Shadow Play in some cases. So, what if I can get a good screenshot with the sunrise going? Okay, back up just a little bit. I want to be up a little. Actually, that'll do. There we go. That's cool. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, 
Alright, and there's also one over there and one down there. So. Huh, interesting. Very interesting. It's almost as if something terrible has happened to the people who used to live here. But that can only really be confirmed if I listen to the voice logs, which I'm not going to do. Oh. <laughs> I should really scan more stuff. Yes, indoor grow bed. That's exactly what I need right there. I'm so cool. I wish it was clean. That'd be nice. All right. Okay, time for my expert Skyrim skills to come into play here for navigating down steep terrain. Also known as really just, you know, not dying. And not over jumping to your limits. All right, cool. Chinese potato. Just as the doctor ordered. Ordered, 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 whatever. I will get the propulsion gun out. Okay, it's propulsion gun time. These little brats can't appreciate me. He has a propulsion gun. Alright, that's it. It's death time. Okay, that is not what I meant to do. Wow, okay. Uh, I just broke some stuff. Stasis, I'm pretty sure the stasis rifle unlocks. I don't really need that. You know, I... Do I have it unlocked? Let me just make sure. You know, I could probably just go ahead and not use the, uh, the propulsion gun for getting rid of those little uh, gremlins. But nothing is more satisfying than this squish thing. <sighs> be really cool to bring a prawn suit up here and just like what's up little crab things you like this then just like drill into them while maniacally laughing them <laughs> oh oh yeah I forgot ladders are instant Oh, there's glass there. Of course there is. Why wouldn't there be? <sighs> Ooh, cool. Purple core tablet and a PDA. Integrating new PDA data. New <laughs> I'm getting great data because I'm an AI. I want to know what's running the AI and how I can employ it. Is the AI sentient or is it just a pre-programmed thing like Siri? Oh, that wasn't good. Yeah, this was definitely made in Unity, I can tell you that. Because only the Unity engine would have that stupid feature in there. Where you jump off of something because of the way your character's positioned. 
mean, it's a good engine, but I mean, it's just really buggy. Hashtag Unreal Engine Life. Hashtag Unreal Engine 4 is better. Hashtag Unreal Engine. Hashtag. Hashtag. Hey, so I'm going to start a GoFundMe for you guys to pay for um, a brand new BMW um, M80i or M. 850i so i'm gonna start a paypal for that and all you guys are gonna because like i have 100 subs it's like my logic is like if each of you give me a thousand dollars then i can pay for it i mean why wouldn't you guys each give me a thousand dollars ugh If you couldn't tell that was complete sarcasm, please don't take that seriously. That would be absurdly ridiculous for me to request something like that. And I would need to have some sort of ridiculously large ego in order to pretty much even consider... Oh my god. I mean, there are kids that ask for like their, their dream car R8 on like GoFundMe and whatever. I mean... I don't, I mean, I, I guess why not even try it, but an R8 is, I mean, even if you get the R8, let's say uh, by miracle, people take pity on you and get you the R8, then you have insurance, you have gas prices, you have maintenance, and you also have taxes. The taxes alone are going to cripple you for that, because like the IRS, they don't play no games, boy. Ooh, you have an R8, that must mean that much, that much. I can't speak, I swear. Ugh. All systems online. Did you know that I am a really cool AI thing that can talk to you whenever you're feeling sad? I mean, not really, but, you know, it's a possibility. You just gotta give me $20. How messed up would that be if, like, um, the, like, the, the characters in a game would, like, you know, try to sell you the microtransactions? I don't mean, like, you know, in, like, Clash of Clans, how you have, you know, the occasional, like, oh, you know, hey, if you give, if you buy some of these gems here, you know, you can fast forward that. I mean, like, let's say, um... Let's say you're playing some some Halo, all right? Let's say you're playing the Halo 3. And you're about to go and kill the Flood, and then, like, Cortana just goes, Master Chief, I need you to give me $20 so that way we can go and kill the Grave... The Grave Mind. I mean... <laughs> sorry, Cortana, but I have bad news for you. It seems as if I am broke because the UNSC doesn't pay me very well. The VA benefits aren't very high. Uh, this is not really ASMR anymore, and I apologize. The apology video will be coming out soon. No worries. Alright. What's around us? Cool. Wicked. Super cool. Totally awesome. I want a screenshot. That's what I want. So I'm like pushing myself into the area for like a good screenshot here. That involves the Cyclops. Because I want to show them off my, uh, my sweet digs. I just wanted to thank that YouTube life, yo, because look at me. Look what I was able to buy with my YouTube money. A brand new submarine. It has nukes on it. I'm so cool. Be jealous and wish you were me. I think that YouTube Lamborghinis are probably one of the most ridiculous things. Like, I would rather go for like a Rolls Royce, man. 
have some class in your taste, man. Come on. I don't know. That's just me, though. Because, like, Lamborghinis are cool cars and all, but they're not... They're not daily drivers. Rolls Royce, I mean, isn't a daily driver either, but... I mean, it, it just has class. It's not fast, though. I think... I don't know. I think if you're going to do a sports car, you would want to go for, like... Um, you would want to go for, like, if you want to go fast, like, if you really want to go fast, like, you know, the, uh, the G-Force, you want that feeling, go for a Tesla. If you want the sound, um, McLarens and, um, Ferraris and Lambos, they got a really good exhaust note on them. I mean, even the, the new BMW, um, 850M um, has a pretty nice, like, exhaust mode. Like, it's on the same level as an Aston. Um, and if you want something that has class, uh, you're, you're going to want to go for a Rolls Royce. Um, I'm not really a fan of Bentley. I mean, they're I, undoubtedly, they're beautiful cars, but I just personally cannot get behind the styling behind them. Their headlights throw me off, I think. So I'm more a fan of the uh, bulky Rolls Royce exterior. So, all right. Enough of me talking about cars I'll never have. Anyways, thank you all for watching me uh, play with my brand new Cyclops. And, um, well, <laughs> I hope all of you who are making it this far have a fantastic day.